Hello, welcome to Florida day eight. We're staying out all night under in the skies, living our lives, put your hand. checking in process have that little green light but I'll try and get them in a minute. Um, people seem like they're coming out of the park at the moment probably because it's such a hot part of the day so hopefully it'll get a bit quieter soon. We've got a reservation at Primetime Cafe for 7.25 so that's why we've come in this evening. statues here we're trying to find all 50 so I now know that there's 36 statues in total individual ones like this but there's 50 different characters Frozone. so we've got Frozone Edna and Edna, Edna. we have to spot the others Speaking and screaming Not 
he's from Seoul, we can't remember his name. Pop a little comment below if you know his name. Yeah. I watched the thing about the guy we should know who it really. wrote the script. Oh look, there's another one around here. We've just found out that he's called Joe. How's his name? Oh, the second time yeah. And look, we've got Flounder. Back in Toy Story Land. Heading on to Stinky Dog now. Also, just so you, everyone knows, if you go into a uh, Disney store and you're looking for some paracetamol or Tylenol, as they sell here, you can get it just behind the counter, you just have to ask for it, they don't have it out, but you can just buy it from there if you ever need it. We just found that out, it's got a headache. the blue raspberry and wild cherry with vodka and basically the way it works is you can choose whichever frozen cocktail you want or frozen drink you want and then you can add alcohol obviously adding the alcohol makes it quite a bit more expensive have it with rum tito's or handmade vodka i went for vodka this is what it looks like and this is where you find it it's called pv's polar pipeline it's by coke and um it's this part of the park like round the corner so it's just hidden behind Hollywood Boulevard. We had a bit of trouble finding it, so yeah, I haven't tried it yet, but it looks divine. Going on to three mania. Yeah, five minutes earlier. Yeah, so we just scanned five, well, actually it was three minutes earlier. Um, you can get into Lightning Lane a little bit early. We just had those lovely slushies. I'm not gonna lie, I can feel that there was a lot of alcohol in those. I can feel it. I can feel the rum. I can feel the rum running through my veins. Yeah, but they were nice, really nice. I, I think it's gonna affect my score. Yeah, it might affect, yeah, actually, you're right, it might affect my score. Lucia's going to win this time. Stick your, oh, your ears are on, they're just not showing up. Um, we're hoping we can get through this quickly so that we can get over to our reservation at the prime time cafe. <laughs> just done uh, Toy Story and now we are at Toy Story Mania. Now we're rushing to get to our reservation. We are five minutes late, but hopefully it won't be a problem. They're usually really busy in these restaurants and usually don't actually check you in for ages anyway. This is the sampling. Some wine. 
And this is what the chicken looks like. I've actually got a bit of food and this is that chicken looks amazing. Yeah. There's a lot though. Yeah. Yeah. This is the pot roast. Mum's already started on it. It's starving. Wow. Look at this chocolate milkshake. It is gigantic and it is basically just a bowl of ice cream, I'm not going to lie. You definitely need spoons. Yeah. Sophia got a lemon meringue pie. Looks very oh, nice. Oh, she got chocolate ice cream. Oh, sorry. What's it called? Apple crisp. Apple crisp. A la mode. A la mode, that needs to be nice to be mum. Jo has got the most Jo Jo, let's see yours. Jo has got the most Jo Jo. <laughs> jo has got a gigantic chocolate brownie. Two, actually. Oh, that looks it's really okay. good. We're just leaving Hollywood Studios. Oh, it's just got really windy just as I've started filming. I don't know if you can hear me. <laughs> um, basically, there aren't any shows at Hollywood Studios at the moment, like evening shows. Fantasmic isn't running, but it's reopening really, really soon. But unfortunately, we're not going to get to see that this trip. And um, the other show, which happens outside the Chinese theatre, the Star Wars one, also isn't running. So nothing to see here at the moment in the evening. So we're heading back now. Um, I am going to put these videos as, as one. So I'll see you in the morning because we're heading to the Mall and I don't think there's going to be loads to film there to make a whole day's video so yeah this will be day eight and nine combined so I will see you tomorrow hello welcome to Florida day nine we are just heading to the Mall at Millennia and um, we've had a really chilled morning actually we're going to Chick-fil-a first just for some lunch just going to pick that up and then we're going to the Mall at Millennia and they have a cheesecake factory there so we're very excited for that as well waiting for our food we're back but we've come to the other one which is near the Vineland uh, premium outlet. Looks like this. The best milkshake. This is the Mall at Millennia. Not too much different to the kind of malls we have in London to be honest. We are in Pottery Barn. This is literally like heaven for me these napkins. I've got all of this in anthropology. I'm obsessed with this candle and we're going to get it in London because it's too heavy to take home. There's loads of really nice little stuff in here. Yeah, this sucks. <laughs> we're in Bath and Body Works. This is why we came here. I usually send Joe all over America when he has conferences to go to these. We're just about to buy five of these hand soaps. Look Cheers, show one. how it comes out all um, on one of the try me. It comes out all foamy. It's really cool. On your hand. <laughs> I don't know, are those in the gym as well? Hmm? Yes. Looks really nice. We're getting these five that. hand sanitizers for $8. I've got kiwi, strawberry... Look, and they have these things that you've got eyes in stars. Oh, yeah, you can put things yeah. over them as well. Look at the big pumpkin ones. You've got pumpkin ones. Cat ones. Literally cat ones. Mm. All different ones for autumn, Halloween. Sunshine and lemons. Ooh, Japanese cherry butter. So many. Oops. Picked mine up. I've got In the Stars, which smells amazing. A mahogany and teak wood, which is really nice and fresh smelling. Um, Sophia or Lucia, which one of you? Sophia. Sophia got a strawberry pancake. And then me and Lucia have both got these ones for autumn. I'll keep hold of that one. We'll put all these autumn ones. Pumpkin cupcake, strawberry pound cake. Pumpkin apple. So many. So many. I've smoked these as well. They smell amazing. Maybe home therapy stuff. It's so much. It's very loud in here, but I've picked up a few bits from Bath and Body Works. I've got this moisturizer that's got glitter in it. It's really nice. This uh, foaming hand soap, wild lavender mint, it's really nice, white barn brand, this flannel hand soap, so these were the same, my mum and I did a deal and got um, five of these for $25, um, then I got this one which was three, buy three get a four for free, which again I did with my mum, so these three items we got and then we got one of them free, um, I got the gingham shower gel, the aromatherapy um, like bath, so basically I use it as like bath and bath, and obviously this one. So I've got all of those bits. I don't know how I'm going to get them all in my bag and not be over the weight, but we'll worry about that next week. I also
also picked up this from uh, Pottery Barn and uh, I like the fact that it says AJ, it's mine and Joe's initials and again it's good for our new kitchen. I just thought it was really nice. You can also hang it up. More food, we're now heading to the Cheesecake Factory, our favourite restaurant. Chicken Madeira here, which is meant to be the most popular item on the menu. Some Korean fried chicken with rice under there. Oh, wow. The beer's got the chicken Riesling, and the chia's got the pomodoro. Pomodoro. We have got a giant bag of cheesecake to take home with us. I'll show you when we get back. Um, we've got a half an hour journey home now. We've got our big, big bag of cheesecakes, you can see mum carrying behind <laughs> so um we're gonna go home what's the time now half past seven so we're gonna go home watch a bit of telly have a very chilled evening because we're having an extremely full-on day at universal studios tomorrow joe and i are gonna go in at rope drop and stay right until the park close at 10 o'clock so it's gonna be a ridiculous day of walking around in the sun and queuing and getting on all the rides because we don't feel like we've got on enough rides at Universal after our disastrous first day. So, we're, well, Joe has, wasn't even there that day. So he hasn't done hardly any rides at Universal yet. So yeah, we're gonna go and smash out all the rides tomorrow. So that's gonna be fun. Um, so I'm gonna end the vlog here because this is like the two day video. Um, so it might be getting a bit long now. Um, I'll insert a few pictures of the cheesecakes when we eat them just so you can see what they look like. Um, but I will leave it here and I'll see you in the morning at Universal Studios.